I've had enough of untimely death. I am totally over woe. I can't believe that we watch them grieve as they watch their body count grow. There's that much carnage going on for what? Markets, oil and coal? Our shared humanity feels near calamity while the warmongers play the troll. The devastation in Afghanistan, the fragmentation of Iraq, the rape of Libya and then Syria. To them, the world is very dark. All around there's malnutrition. Fascist thugs emerge again while refugees and minorities sit huddled in a cattle pen. There's social genocide through poverty, policed by the riot squad clad, injustice left and right in this uneven fight for supremacy of man over man. So when's the time to challenge this system, join the struggle, make it swell? If we don't act, and here's my fact, they'll redefine what we call hell. That tension on the peninsula is drawing a dangerous bow. And a war between China and America, if nuclear, where would we go? Now Japan and Germany's rearming amidst a frenzy of repeals. Those two world wars should give them pause to resist these military deals. But no, they're surging forward. And if you think that I'm misled, read history's lines. No ruler pines at the sight of millions dead. While we fear the likes of ISIS, their barbaric political acts, the American bully is winding the pulley and forging belligerent pacts. Alliances exist for just one thing, and that's to perpetuate war. You are with us or you're against us. You are rich or hit the floor. China and Russia will have no choice, if trumped, to reply in kind. The worst mistake that we could make is to remain politically blind.